What is up everybody? So I've been asked to do this quite a few times and I thought we'd go ahead and do it. We are going to go back over a golden trophy and how to solo it and we're going to do it on walk because that's kind of what everybody's doing now. The original tutorial that I did was way back in uh, early 2018 I think where you could only teleport and not a whole lot's changed with the quest but a few physics have changed um, and of course now we have walk. So we're going to go through the updated 2020 how to solo golden trophy starting off number one most this is the most important thing you can't forget this is this thing right here you want this swords yeah these things these are cool and all but you got no range man you want to be able to kill goblins long before they can get to you so best bud not best bud just be gone we don't we don't want it we don't want it so we are going to do this in single shot only just to show you that it can be done you do not have to be a double shotter to solo this quest um i know it kind of hurts seeing bathia single shot but i really want to show you guys that it can be done you don't have to you don't have to be going crazy like that just to just to solo this quest um i do highly recommend the double shot i'm i love it it's a lot of fun um if you don't know how to, let me see here. Give me my thumb. Okay, I'm going to drop some videos here and a little bit higher up here. There we go. Um, I'm going to drop Sean's double shot tutorial and then I'm going to drop mine and that'll teach you how to do it and kind of how to be accurate with it. Um, this may be a little bit long video, so I'm going to drop timestamps for each act. If you're only having a issue with a certain act, you can go ahead down to the description, jump ahead to wherever you need to be. Also, I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. My throat doesn't like that. So bear with me as my voice goes in and out. Um, oh yeah, if you found this video helpful, if you found it useful, if you found it entertaining, or if you just found it, you should hit the like button and you should hit that subscribe button because that would mean a lot to me and I would really appreciate it. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the quest. We're going to be going over spawns and good places to be when those spawns happen. There's a couple different ways spawns will come in either when you cross a certain threshold or when you kill a certain enemy. So knowing where to be and which enemy to not kill until a certain point can help a lot. Uh, I think that's everything. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. It's going to be one long, uncut, unedited video. Except for maybe this intro because that was a lot and I'm already winded. So we're going to recall you. Turn off the streamer cam. Actually, we may keep the streamer cam on and we'll just do POV. That may be better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, so without further ado, let's go make sure you got your bow. All right, starting out. Once you cross about yonder, you're gonna have two little green guys. This, this, this level is really easy. Um, if you ever have any difficulties, you can always just jump up on a box. The, the little chihuahuas can't get you up here, and you're pretty much safe. So, two shots, two full power shots will take out the green guys. Um, if you're soloing, you really don't have to break any pots for S. As long as you beat the quest, you're pretty much guaranteed S. Once you pass about right here, you're going to get four. They are a little bit random, but they're mostly all in the same spot. Two on the left, two on the right-ish. You can't get arrows out quick enough, just fall back, hop up on a table, hop up on a crate, do whatever you have to do. And like I said, this level is really not that difficult. So if you ever have any issues, just hop up here. Um, again, that's the second little barrier. You'll spawn these guys right here. I mean, it's easy. So once you cross up there, you're gonna have one guy on your left two to your right. Once you get them taken care of, you're gonna have two to the left and two to the right. So, here they come. Again, just, just hop up here, man. And just have fun with them at this point. Here come these two and these two. All right, that's act one for you. Really easy. 
Now, Act 2. You're going to take a few steps. You're going to get a couple flyers. So, flyers are always going to aim for your head. So, you can just kind of move your head. As long as you're constantly strafing, you're pretty much guaranteed to not get hit unless you loop back around and run right into another fireball that was shot 30 seconds earlier. But, pretty straightforward. You got these two right here. See, they're always shooting for the head. As long as you're walking or somewhat dipping your head, you can dodge them pretty easily. Again, green goblins, two arrows. Easy. Once you cross about right there, you're going to get one flyer there, one flyer here, and two flyers in that outcove. So you really don't want to go in and then try and run back because this guy's going to shoot you. So probably the best way to do it if you're nervous is to go in this outcove over here. Just spawn them, run over here, and then just kind of stick your head back here and just kind of poke out and shoot out as you need to. And then just kind of strafe side to side, whatever you have to do. There's really not a whole lot of fireballs going on. Once you cross about right up here, you're going to get two more flowers up at the top. So here's where it gets fun. This is the room everybody hates. If you're new to soloing, this one is going to be rough. So, once you cross about right at the corner of that couch or so, you'll get a bunch of flyers and a couple walkers over there and over there. So what you can do is you can spawn them and then you can go all the way to the back and you can hop up on these crates. That's really safe and it'll work just fine. But if, as long as you keep moving, you're, you're generally okay. So I, I prioritize the flyers since their fireballs move a lot faster. You could also hop up on the couch. These guys can't get you. Now once you knock all but one of these guys, no, I was wrong. And once you take out this wave, you're gonna get, it's the next one after this. You're gonna get two flyers, two runners over there. You're gonna get a flyer over there, and you're gonna get a flyer over there, and I think you'll get a runner in there too. So, the second wave gets pretty hectic. So once you take this guy out, once you take the last enemy out in that first wave, be ready for it to get crazy. And then, when you take all but, I believe, two of that wave, you'll get the final wave, which is two runners in there, two more runners in there, a flyer there, a flyer there, and two flyers back there. So it's going to get a little bit crazy. Um, if you're worried about it, like I said, you can always just fall back. So we're going to take this guy out. And then you got all these guys, you got these guys, there and there. So when you take all but two of these out, you're gonna get another wave. So it's probably best, if you're not sure, to just kind of fall back a little bit. They're gonna spawn about here-ish. So you don't wanna be any closer because they'll spawn behind you. And you can always use these curtains for cover. So once you take them out, here comes this wave. And then just kind of take them out, you know, take your time, don't get too much of a rush. Dodge fireballs, take out the runners as they come at you. It's pretty straightforward, just don't die and you're good. And then that's our last enemy for this level. So this one's probably one of the hardest ones. Once you get past here, you're doing pretty good. Act 3. So Act 3 is pretty straightforward. This boulder is really good help. You can always just take it and start it down there. And you can take out a lot of them with the boulder. You got six of these guys here. And then once you get about halfway down this ramp over here, you're going to spawn in a couple runners and a couple flyers on that second level. Now you don't want to go all the way down to that level. Because once you hit that landing down there you're gonna spawn three flyers here behind you so then you got them in front of you and you got them behind you so you can come down here a little bit you can take care of these guys just don't go to that second landing because once you hit right down here you got three flyers up here behind you 
Again, you can do whatever you have to do. You got plenty of coverings, you know, if you're worried about them. You can hide over here, make sure they don't hit you. Just don't go past or about there because you got four more flyers right there. So, if you get multiple flyers, what you can do is just put one arrow in all of them. And that'll stun them and put them on the ground. And then you can come back and kill them. All right, then you just have, I think it's six little green goblins right down here. Again, if you're getting in trouble, just back up. Just don't let them get too close. Easy peasy. All right, so act four is where it gets kind of fun, especially when you're on the walk, because it is very easy to walk off of these ledges. And if you hit the lava, you're dead. It's over. So this is also where we meet our buddies that are in barrels, and they are a lot of fun. So, once you get right up here, pass about right there, you're gonna spawn five green guys over here. So we'll do that. Probably one of the best places to be in this level, if you're not sure, is to just hang back in the starting area. Once you take out this guy, you're gonna get two here, two, three there and two there it's been a while since I've uh, memorized every single number so once you take out these waves you're gonna start getting flyers over the lava this is probably a good play time to be getting back because you're gonna be on these tight little ramps here with flyers and you're gonna have these guys blocking your path so you're gonna want to get back here before that so you can kind of come over here take out these jars so you don't be grabbing them while you're trying to shoot you'll have a couple more runners coming in a second and then we're just going to worry about the flyers so after you do that you got another wave of flyers you can try and take them out from a little ways out he's just not going to come around i almost had him don't let these guys get too close to you if you have to, back up a little bit further. Once you take out these guys, you're going to have a barrel spawn in here with you. And you're going to want to get him taken care of as quick as possible because you're going to have another barrel. And you want to get that done because two barrels is kind of rough. So we'll take care of this guy. And try and take him out before he hits the ground. Doesn't always work. If you're double shotting, it's not that hard. So we got our other buddy. What is he doing? Okay, he just he didn't want to play. So you can do one of two things. If you're on, you know, PC VR, you can knock him off, and that's always fun. But most people aren't. So basically just get him to line up wherever you need him to be, and then just sidestep him. Once he stops and he starts his animation, he's pretty much stuck on his line. So you can just really just take two steps, and you're pretty much good. So just let him do that, hit him. What you don't want to do is hit him while he's in the middle of his animation because that's when he'll turn around with his axe down and you'll get immediately killed and everybody hates that. So you kind of want to wait until he stops and then go for it. And then once we kill this guy, we're going to get another barrel spawn here and then we're going to get a bunch of flyers and runners coming at us. So you're going to want to take care of the barrel really quick before the runners get over here. Maybe take a flyer out or two if you can. Just kind of try and prioritize, make sure that nothing's getting too close. And then take out the last flyer. And that's level four. This one's one of the harder ones. We haven't got to the red guys yet. That's where it gets fun. We'll be doing that on this one. All right, so act five. You don't wanna go left because you actually don't have to do the left side. You only have to kill the four green goblins that are chilling up there right now. You don't have to do all the red ones that are over there. So always go left or right. So once you aggro one of these two guys here or you go into the room, you're going to spawn in the flyers on the other side. 
good idea probably just to take them out from back here give yourself a little room as uh, any time that you can give yourself a ton of room to dodge fireballs you're doing the right thing so now once you go into the room you're gonna spawn this red guy here once you take him out you're gonna get another red guy and then there's threshold there and there, if you cross either one of those points, you're going to spawn the three goblins out there. So if you, if you cross that trying to take out the red flyer there, you're going to have to deal with the red flyer and the green goblins that come running at you. Just be aware of that. So you got these three guys here. And that's that. What I usually like to do is... We won't even worry about these guys just yet. There's a, a trigger zone right there at the corner of this wall here. Once you cross that, you're going to spawn in three red runners and three red flyers, and that's where it's going to get a little bit rough. So we can just come up here. You do have to kill these four green goblins, but if you kill them from outside of the room, you don't have to do the rest of it. If you decide to walk into the room, then you have to do the red guys that spawn over here, the red ones that spawn back there, and the three other green ones over here. So it's not really the best. Um, if you're kind of nervous about this part, what I would do is go ahead and spawn it and then just fall back over here to the right side. You know, maybe take a few pop shots as you can. As you're running away, just kind of take out as many as you can. As long as you're constantly backing up, you're going to outrun them. And then you can kind of come up here and you got this nice little safe-ish zone here. So these guys, they shoot fireballs in a, a fan. So you can't just like sidestep and always get away from it. Once you kill all the runners and then two of the flyers, you get these guys. There's one here, one over there. There's a spawn point over there and a spawn point over here. Where they spawn is random. They could both spawn over here, they could both spawn over there. Could be one and one. Once you take them out, you got two more red flyers. And corners are your friends with these guys. Generally, they stop at corners and shoot you, and they hit the corner, and you're pretty well safe. So that's a good tactic, is just kind of use corners and play hide and seek with them. Now, Act 6. This is where it's going to get a little bit rough. So, starting out, you got your two red flyers over there. Not a whole lot going on. Once you take them out, you're going to get four red runners in there. Then you're going to get a bunch spawned in here, and a bunch spawned in there. So, there's really not a super good place to be. Um, if you're on walk, you can get on top of these bookshelves. None of the runners can get you. But the flyers still can, so you have to be wary of that. We're just going to take these guys out. Take all these guys out. They start getting close, you can hop over here. You know, they can't get you up here, so you're pretty well safe. Just know that once you take these guys out, you are going to have two flyers that you're going to want to prioritize, because they can shoot you up here. The rest of these guys, you're pretty well safe. Now once you take out the last guy here, you're gonna have two red runners in that cove, and you're gonna have two more in there. So, just don't be anywhere near that spot. Take them out. Kind of chill up here, be safe, take it easy. Once we take this guy out, we're going to get a red barrel over there and a red barrel over there. You may not want to be up here. The axis can probably get you up here. So you may want to take this guy out before that guy has a chance to get over here. And now he's stuck with his axe down. That's what you don't want. But basically, if you walk up to them, let them start their animation, take a step back. 
you can basically just kind of kill them slowly. Once you take out this guy, it's all going to break loose. It's a pretty random spawn. There's spawns in there, spawns up there, spawns in that cove, spawns in that cove, spawns in that cove. And there's two flyers, I think four red ones, four red runners, two green ones. There's a barrel, he always spawns in there. So, there's really no one good place to be. You can shoot these guys in the head, too. That axe is getting so close. So the best thing to probably do is to just run towards the end, take out whatever is over here as quickly as possible, and then take out whatever you can over there. You may have to do a lot of moving during this section. Just find out where those flyers are. Those are your biggest concerns. Take out the flyer. And then we're just down to the barrel. I think there was only two red runners. It's been so long, I can't remember what the count is on them. It's a lot, though. Dude, I'm so tempted to just double shot him to get him dead, you know? Dude, what is with these weird movements you're doing? You can always just run around them. And you can also grab a sword, too. Swords are pretty quick with those guys. But this, in my opinion, is the hardest level because there's really not a good safe spot to be for that last wave. You're going to have a couple flyers, so you can't just stand up here because you're going to have two of them blasting you. And the axes can probably get you up there. You can stand in this corner over here. And I've heard of axes getting people in here, but it's a lot less common. That's if you want to just stand in one spot. Best thing to do is probably just move. Bouncing back and forth between here is a really good spot because a lot of enemies have to go up that ramp. And so while they're working up and down there, you can just kind of hop back and forth, take a few shots, hop back down, you know, repeat. Act 7. Okay. So once we go up here and cross this corner, we're going to get two red runners and two green flyers. If you're up here, the red runners can't do anything, so you can just take out the little green flyers. Easy. Once you take out three of the four... Ah, uh, you dumb dumb. Once you take out three of the four enemies, you're going to get two more green runners. So... They got one of these guys, and there's two more green ones. So here's a pretty good safe spot to be, just kind of back and forth, make sure you don't get hit by a fireball, and let these guys chill out underneath you. Alright, once you enter here, you're going to get a couple spawns right on the outside of this door over here, and then you'll have a bunch in that cove over there. So. You can always just kind of take a few shots in, you know, fall back outside the doorway. You're pretty safe over here. They spawn so low that they don't shoot through here. They try and go through the room to get to you. So just take as many shots as you have to in there. Just spam. And generally you're going to get them all. All right, coming up once we cross about here, we're going to get a red flyer. Once we take him out over there, we're going to get two more green flyers. So just be ready for that. Once you take them out, you're going to get a spawn behind you. And once you take, I believe it's two of these guys out. Yeah, two. You're going to get two runners and two green flyers. And they're going to spawn either here or over there, and it's random. They could all spawn on one side, they could spawn two and two, they could spawn three and one. So just be careful because they're gonna spawn on both sides of you. If you're nervous about that, you know, you could spawn these guys, fall back to this room, and let them come chase you down. Um, a good place to be in this room, especially for like the last wave, if you're really nervous, just be right up there. It's really good. All right. Coming down here, once we get down to the bottom, there is about, uh, I don't know, 70-80% chance that this red guy here is going to spawn behind us, so be ready for him. He doesn't always spawn, 
but a lot of times he does. There he is. There's our pal. So just be ready to take him out. And then we got our buddy Daryl down here. This guy's pretty fun to deal with. Probably the best thing to do is to just run and hit this hallway beside him. Just run down here, hit the hallway, let him go that way. Put a few arrows in him, back up, don't let him come towards you. Okay, he's like broken. Taking care of him in this tight hallway is pretty rough. Um, you know, if that makes you anxious, you can always just shoot him with an arrow from here, fall back, take, you, yeah, take care of him in a bigger space. So once you cross here, I don't know, there's again a 70-80% chance that you're going to get a red guy spawn in front of you and two green guys back here. Once you take out them, you're going to get another red guy here. Doesn't always happen, but most of the time. Like that. You're going to want to take this red guy out because he's going to charge you really fast. Once you take out two of the three, you're going to get another red guy. This guy got stuck or something. All right. Here's where it gets a little bit rough. So these guys are not going to aggro unless you shoot at them or you get too close. So you can take some cool pictures right here. Boom. Be like, yo, what's up? Anyway. Um, so each one of these guys takes three arrows. And then you're going to have two flyers. And once you take out one of the two flyers, you're going to have another flyer. So there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of arrows that have to be shot. If you're not comfortable, especially if you don't double shoot and you want to single shoot, you're going to have to fall back. So you might want to be here, just take as many pop shots as you can and then start running back. Take out a couple of them and then run. There he is. And you can use the corner here for the red flyers. They tend to get stuck on corners, so that helps out a lot. Just be real careful sticking your head out. Then you should only have one more right there. All right, act eight. All right, so act eight. This one's a little bit rough too. There's not a whole lot of really good hiding places, but there are a few. Um, staying back here is a really good strategy, but you can get overwhelmed. There's a few places on the other side I'll show you. Once you cross about right here, you're going to start the whole level. And it's going to start with a few running goblins over there. I did not want to jump down here, but okay. So, you can let these guys run down a little bit. And then a good place to be is right here. Nothing can get over here. So these guys are going to come here, they're going to get stuck. This is a really safe place to be. But flyers, of course, can still hurt you, and axes can still get you. So Once you take out these guys, where'd that red guy go? I guess he fell. So there's going to be pretty random. You're going to have at least one goblin there, one there, the green ones. You're going to have a red one back there. And then there's random spawns literally all over the central area and in here. You're going to have a couple red ones and a bunch of green ones come after you finish this first wave. See, they're pretty much everywhere. Uh, we didn't get any back here, but they can spawn over here. So it's three red ones, which one just jumped in the lava. There goes that guy. Once you take these out, you're going to get four flyers. You're going to get two green ones and two red ones. And they can spawn here or there. So this is where it gets a little bit nerve-wracking if you're going to stand here. Because if you get a bunch spawn right here, they're going to be shooting at you. And you're either going to have to take a dive or take them out really fast. So you might want to get up here just be ready to fall if there's a bunch of them over here. See, we got three over here. As long as you put one arrow in them, they'll usually fall into the lava. Now once you take out this last guy, you're going to have four red runners. And they'll spawn there, and they'll spawn over by the entrance. And again, there's four of them, but it doesn't really, they're not set to any spot. You could get all four here, you could get all four there. You could get one here, three there, two and two, you know. It, it, it wildly varies. So, take him out, 
We get one here, and we got the other three up there. We're going to take this guy out because he's close. This is also another good place to be because that steep ramp coming up really slows them down a lot. Well, never mind. I guess they fixed that. If they get too close, you can always hop down here. You know you bought yourself a little bit of time. And then once you take them out, you're going to get two red barrels. One there. One up there. So... Try and take this guy out before that one gets there. Ooh, he got close. You know, and another good thing, you can come over here and just kind of stand back here. They really can't do anything. Watch him be able to get over here now. <laughs> you okay, bro? That guy's stuck. This guy's stuck. So basically, you can just kind of pop them in the back. And once you take out this guy, you're going to have a green barrel over there, a green barrel back at the start, and a red flyer there, and a red flyer over this archway right behind me. So, you're definitely going to want to take care of those flyers as quickly as possible. Get that guy gone, throw him in the lava. We got this guy now. Try and take him out long range before the barrels have a chance to get over here. If they want to go down there, that is great. That is perfect for you. Just let them stand down there because you can shoot them in the top of the head and kill them. Where'd the other guy go? Did he even... He didn't even spot me. Okay, he's got me now. So, once you kill this guy, you're going to have a red barrel spawn over there. You're going to have two flyers spawn, and again, it's kind of sporadic. They're just kind of everywhere. So, it gets a little bit rough. You're definitely going to want to prioritize those flyers and get them out. So, take care of him. Immediately start looking for flyers. There's one. There's the other one hiding. Take them out. Don't let them get near you. None of these guys can really do a whole lot. You're just going to want to get rid of that. There you go. And the rest of them are going to kind of pile up down here. So there you go. That's Act 8. Now on to the boss. You done good. This one, this one's, uh, it's got a little bit of anxiety to it. But you can do it. You can do it. Alright, so for our buddy, Mr. Boss here. The safest place to be for him is in this back corner over here by the pots where we'll go. The only problem with that is in the first wave, after about two hits, there is a possibility of not just one, but a couple flyers spawning there really close to you. So you may want to hold off on that spot. So I like to go left. You got lots of cover, so he can't hit you. Just kind of take cover, make sure you don't get hit, and then let him do his little thing. Wait till he turns around. This is probably a better place to take him out from, at least for the first wave. Hit him, hide. Hit him, hide. Here comes the first wave. See? We got one and one there. And then I like to work my way over here. And take out everything as it comes. You got a nice long hallway here to work with. So. It's kind of time consuming. But it'll work. So just stay here the rest of the time. The only thing that you have to worry about is in the second wave. There's a green flyer over there. And in the third wave there's two red flyers. That spawn over in that back corner. And they can hit you here. So once you spawn a wave, it's probably best to kind of scoot right over in this area. Take out what you can. Make sure you get the flyers before you make your way back over here. But basically, it's just a waiting game from here if you want to play it safe. So every time he turns his back to you, hit him. Hide. Wait. Come on. Turn. Hey, hey. You got a lot more room on the other side, you can always do that, but 
Just know that there's going to be a lot of spawns in this area. So it might get a little bit rough trying to make it back over here. And if you can, hit that guy as he spawns. Take him out before he gets a chance to get up here. He's going to turn around and stop every time you hit him. So it gives you a good chance to just go ahead and kill him. And then here comes our flower friend. You can kind of see him back there. You just don't want to be hit by that. And there's another one there. So you may want to stand here, wait a second, because that flyer can't see you. He's going to be working his way over here. And so just give him a second to get close enough to take him out so you don't have to worry about him anymore. There he is. Okay, now he's gone. Now we can deal with the third wave. Just wait for our buddy. Almost got two in. Do yourself a favor and don't fall, because you'll be in trouble. You can jump back up here from this wall, but it's not easy. Hey, nerd! Bro, come on, man. Do, 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 do. do. We gotta be getting close. Come on, man. Like one more shot for that wave. Take that guy out if you can. I don't like the barrels getting up close, so I like to take them out. But you got the two red flyers down there shooting at us. From that far out, their fireballs should dissipate before they get here. They only have a certain range. See, they should start disappearing. But as they get closer, if they get like over in that range, they can hit you. So that's where I come up here, I hide, they can't see me, they start working their way this way, and then we can take them out right over here. See, there they are. Alright, and that is the last of the enemies. Now all you have to do is take out this big galoot. So after you take out the third wave, you may want to move over here. Um, it's a little, little bit riskier, but not really, not really that much. You get a little bit more room to work with, a little bit more. He shows a little bit more back, so it's just kind of a waiting game. Make sure he turns his back to you, shoot him, and you're victorious. Then you reap that sweet reward of ten tokens, baby. And that is pretty much all there is to Solo and Golden Trophy. It's pretty straightforward. Just take your time. Um, bottleneck enemies if you have to. And just don't let them get close to you. You know, find something to stand on. Find something to fall back onto. There we go. Alright guys, so anyway, I hope that helped you out. Um, like I said, this is we've done this before. This is kind of the updated version. If you guys have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'm happy to answer them. And again, if you liked the video, if it was helpful, if you enjoyed it, please remember to drop a like, a sub, you know, maybe tell a friend about the channel. It would mean the world to me, and that just really helps me out more than you know. So, anyways... Thank you guys for watching. You can do this. You will do this. I have faith in you. All right, stay tuned. We're going to be doing updated tutorials on all the quests. The so we'll be getting those out relatively soon. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.